all right kfc has actually announced the console once again and this time it's kind of different thing altogether they've changed their specs and some kind of infos let's go back to the specs and throw a little bit more light on that the console itself will be vr ready that means you get to get your feet and enjoy the world of virtual reality while the smell of fresh chicken captures your senses this is kind of good thing for gamers huh also it's gonna produce ray tracing actually real time ray tracing i'm pretty sure right now a lot of gamers know what ray tracing is right now because it's a next gen thing that actually like rolling on right now so i need not to throw more light on that and one of the craziest thing is it's going to produce 240 fps up to 240 hertz this is crazy so like you're going to enjoy smooth and fluid high frame rate gameplay at a 240 fps for all games with support for 240 output on 4k displays this is kind of crazy so 4k displays mainly going to support 4k tv gaming like graphics the resolution is going to be on 4k so actually in short this gaming console thing is real it's getting in but i'm pretty sure it's going to come out maybe next year around april or may or june because not right now i'm pretty sure when they announced first it came around september and they said they're going to re release it around november thereabout but unfortunately things didn't went as planned so maybe they're trying next year but right now we're going to go in depth on how the chicken chamber is gonna work like how the heat transfer might work and all that where you're gonna get a heat source and all that i know a lot of fans right now a lot of people right now are actually getting out ahead on how you're gonna get a heat from is it gonna overheat or what what it might work on or how i'm going to toast my chicken or heat up my chicken with all that chamber inside the gaming system that needs a lot of cooling and all that but i really know how it might work out it's like a kind of suggestion but this suggestion is kind of based on maybe scientific process and all that but i'm going to give you that one first of all the gaming console is going to be in two sections the console section and the chicken chamber section or the heating chamber section in my previous videos i suggested that either the gaming console will be separated from the chicken chamber so maybe your chicken toasty maybe beside of the console and also the gaming console being separated from like each other so that the heating and all that will be kind of simple and all. but right now it's being merged together so it's like the console section and the chicken chamber section are being fused together to make one console in a single structure okay so let's kind of go straight let me start from here once you start gaming inside of the gaming console heat yeah i know this thing is something normal for all kind of consoles and even technology that's how tech works especially machines it's something that is normal for any computer because anything that works a bit of heat comes up so yeah that's how it is so when this happens there is some sort of heat extractor that actually pulls out some heat from the gaming board into the chicken chamber actually that's whole process right now that is how the whole thing is gonna work on when the gaming board heats the heat extractor or some kind of sort of a um, cpu fan extract the heat from the gaming board and through some kind of heat sink and heat pipes and all that into the chicken chamber for the chicken chamber to be kind of a bit hotter to be able to heat up your chicken to you know whatever to make it ready for you know but wait before then there might be some sort of heat temperature sensor in the chicken chamber that might detect the heat limit and all that so it's like it will aid you whether the heat inside the chicken chamber is good enough to heat up your chicken or any kind of sort heat sensors right now is being some kind of common thing in gaming consoles and like in pcs and all that because each and every time you use your computer or your gaming console your system heats up and anytime it's trying to overheat it detects and tells you that hey this is the kind of temperature your gaming console or your pc is running right now so either you you would like to continue playing it or maybe you pause for a better time to cool down and you continue that's how it is so i'm pretty sure we're going to use this same principle yeah so with all that said the gaming console producing more heat for the chicken chamber when running games that draws more strength from the gaming console and looking at the specs it's real damn enough to do that and one thing too is when they say they're going to produce 240 fps real-time ray tracing they are already making more gaming immersive giving good graphics and all that simply no it's because of the hidden chamber and nothing else for that they might need some sort of powerful heat extractor and some heat sink and all that so that too much heat do not stuck inside the actual gaming console section or else you know what might happen 
You'll be then playing some Cyberpunk 2077 and and your console might explode in front of your TV. Yeah, that is my view for now. So if you think about anything I am concerning to what I said, you can bring it down below in the comment section. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can get our videos very early. Anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. Goodbye. See you next time.